what is up you guys and welcome back and do another episode of our showcase videos not just on wednesday but any other any day of the week but today we have our showcase on top gun so top gun was a movie released around the 90s and 80s somewhere in the Somewhere between the 80s and 90s, it was a really great movie. It had a really good cast, consisting of Val Kilmer, Tom Cruise, um, and the, uh, some other great casting with it also. But, yeah, I think this was a, it was a really great movie. I just watched it a couple weeks ago. And I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great fighter. I'm not really into fighter pilot movies. But this one like. It's not just about fly, flying jets and stuff. It's like more than that. So anyway. I don't want to give you a whole like review. So let's get right into it. So first up we have Maverick in his bomber jacket. So the bomber jacket was tricky. I went through a couple of ideas for this. I first was going to use a torso from Stranger Things, like from Lucas, that had that like jacket kind of thing. But that jacket was red. I didn't, I tried the original jacket from the Vulture, like that came in the Homecoming sets. It was a black jacket, so it didn't quite work out. But I found this torso here, and this torso comes from the newest Vulture minifigure that is based off of Spider-Man Homecoming, but wasn't released for those sets. And then for, you know how he has the patches on the side, I used the arms from the Mandalorian to give him those, like, kind of, like, patches. I did that on both sides there, because I thought it looked nice. I used the head from Agent Coulson, the hair... Here comes from the dog trainer. I mean, not the dog trainer. It comes on Poe Dameron. It's just the Superman hair in dark brown. You can find it in a lot of places. And I use these legs from Owen Grady to give him that nice jean look there. And I think he turned out really well. Next up, we have Maverick in his flying suit. I do not have a lot of dark green torso pieces. Um, like that represent a like a fighter pilot. I don't think Legos made very much. I think the only ones come on a Rebel Trooper that looks the most accurate. But what I use here is the torso from Infinity War Black Widow. It gives you that nice ja green jacket. I know it's not dark green, but it looks pretty good. I used some dark green arms, black hands, these legs from Lucy from the Lego Movie 2, and then I, you guys might be wondering about the mask and thing, breathing apparatus here. I used that from the same Vulture minifigure I got this torso from, thought that looked pretty well, and underneath, if you can see, I'll take off the mask. You can see it's just the Lex Luthor head, which has come on a bazillion of places, not just on Lex Luthor, but many, many other places. But I just think it doesn't matter what really head you use underneath. I think any head would look good, but if you wanted to, you can take the visor thing off there. And you, yeah, you can take that off, and then you have that, and then you can put on the dark brown hair, and you got Maverick without the mask on. Next up, we have the lovable character, Goose. And for Goose, this was a harder figure to make. It wasn't that hard, but I didn't really know what to use for this figure, but... Like, I didn't want to put him in another boring fighter pilot uniform because it's just boring to just make all those figures over and over. And plus, I don't have all the pieces to keep redoing that. 
So what we have here is this torso from the fat Hawaiian man from the Lego City Fun at the Beach set. Because he, he wore a Hawaiian t-shirt type deal. And then I put the arms from that. The hand hands, which you can get on zillion figures. Black legs. Tony Stark's head. And this hair comes from the Party Boy from the CMF series. But it's also come in Lego City too. So it's relatively common. And I just think it looks really good. I know the like goatee doesn't match up with the hair. Yeah guys, I know that. But it's the closest I could get to them. And I think it turned out pretty well. Next up we have Iceman. Who was a pretty... Annoying character in the start of the movie, and by the end of the movie, he was a great character. So, to build him, I made a different fighter pilot costume than I did for Maverick, because the only thing he really wears is a fighter pilot costume thingy. And so, what I did here was I took the torso from Vulture from the... I don't know where this came from. I think from the 2021 line of Marvel sets. I don't know. But yeah, you see it's got that vulture thing on the back. And then I use this head from Superman. This hair comes from Star Wars. But if you didn't want to use that hair, you could also use my other option here. And you can put the hair on from the party boy. That we used on Goose. But I still think the Star Wars hair works better. And so I'll just put that back on. But it was a relatively easy minifigure to make. But I just don't know where you can find that vulture torso anymore. But yeah, that is Iceman. Next figure we have here is Charlie or... Maverick's love interest in this movie. I used the torso from Bruce Banner, black arms, tan hands, these gunmetal gray legs. You could e you could also use black legs if you wanted to, but I didn't. I used the head and hair from Captain Marvel from the 2020 Avengers, like the small tower set, not the huge tower, but the smaller tower that came with the little Quinjet thingy. But I think she turned out really well. And she had that little jacket on. The black jacket with a gray shirt on. So I thought the Bruce Banner torso looked really good to represent that. And our next figure we have is Slider. Or Iceman is co-pilot in the jet. I used the torso from... The Batman figure with no shirt on. Tan arms, tan hands. The head from Luke Skywalker. The dog trainer hair piece. And these gunmetal gray legs. It was a really easy custom to make. You just have to have that Batman torso there. Mine's a little scraped up as you can see. But I think all around it looks really well for Ice... I mean not Iceman. Slider. Next we have Sundown, and this was another one of the pilots. I used black legs, the torso and arms and hands from Nick Fury, the head from the Stormtrooper, and then the hair from Finn from Star Wars. And it wasn't a relatively complicated figure. You just have to have that torso there, and you're pretty much good to go. And, yeah, you can see there's a little crack in the arm right there i don't know how i spotted that i just did but i think it was a really good design for him he doesn't really wear anything other than his fighter pilot suit so i put him in the scene from the end of the movie from when he's like where's maverick and it's like i don't know if it's it's not goose's funeral it's something i don't remember but yeah, that is Sundown. Next up, we have Chipper from the same scene I made Sundown. I used some black legs, the torso from a trooper flipped around, 
white arms, tan hands, the head from Chanor from Friends, and then this black Superman hair to round out the figure. And we only have one more figure to go, so let's get right into it. And our last figure we have here is Stinger. And he was the general that assigned Maverick to Top Gun, the mission thing. And I used the torso, arms, and hands from Hopper. The head from an angry clone trooper face. And then these legs from Eric Killmonger to round him out. A pretty neat figure. Uh, any, like, tan torso would work, I think, if you didn't have the hopper, because he came in a really expensive set. But, yeah, that is Stinger. And we'll round this showcase out. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my showcase on Top Gun. I will be doing a showcase on the new Top Gun Maverick movie. I just seen it. So, I will be doing a showcase on that. And comment down below what other showcases you'll like to see next. And I promise I will get that comment thing working up so you can comment. But yeah. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been another showcase uh, from Otter Bricks. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, goodbye, and ride into the danger zone.